Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Woe Long Fallen Dynasty, aka DO3 on the Mysterious JG. Uh, so we gotta fight this giant demon guy who's uh, basically all like. The only time we're doing any real damage to its hit points is when we get it into like. Uh, we knock out its spirit meter, or key meter, or chi meter, or amrita meter, or whatever, completely. It's like really not taking damage at all before we do that. So we kind of got to go with uh, a build that's going to do as much of that sort of damage as possible. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I like that Cao Cao cosplay because we have spirit vulnerability on enemy up I'm on martial arts, so I actually need to use martial arts for a change because this will increase the amount of spirit we deplete by attacking enemies. So that's good. That involves the full Cao Cao set. So. Probably this is fine. Anything that increases spiritual damage would be good. But overall, I think if we use martial arts. How can I, uh, let's see, uh, let's sort by type, so we get all of our Heaven's Blades together, or do we? Did I just keep the one Heaven's Blade? It's possible I just kept the one Heaven's Blade. Oh god, so we don't really have a choice there. We have other unscrupulous hero crowns. See, these are doing uh, as you might expect. Uh, oh, I need to stick with these because I've leveled them up. I've got plus five on them and plus four on this, so it's not a time to be messing with that. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, summon an additional ally to help us, but really we just need to get good at the game, I think. Easier said than done. So let's see. Warrior effect, HP. We already have him, so there's no... Spirit game from deflecting. Damage received decreased. Martial arts damage plus. That's not bad, actually. We can't use you. We can't use you. We can't use you. Oh man, Soon Jin would actually be really good here, and we can't use him. It's not available. But spirit attack energy is exactly who we want. He'd give us a little boost to our spirit attack. Let's go with Shang Fei this time. How many Tiger Seals we got? 80. I think we'll be alright. Alright, let's uh Let's do it! I'll wipe the floor with them. Let's use our sword. That'll give us access to the best bow. I don't know, but we'll use our sword anyway. Martial arts, I have to remember, it's R1. Oh, I could mess with our... The only spell we really cared about too much is... Uh, probably... We could teleport through stuff, which might be nice, but... Boosting damage resistance and uh, draining away hit points is a thing. That is useful. I don't know how I missed this rank 5 steal before, but apparently I did. Not quite sure how that would have happened. But let's go. It's been a minute, at least for me, so we'll watch the cinematic again. I believe it involved the Taoist in black just being all evil. And somehow summoning a giant beastie for us to fight. It's taking its time loading this cinematic, isn't it? <clears throat> you... <gasps> The guy who doesn't you talk, except the case they're going, uh. For in the moment of your death, I will allow you to bear witness. It's just so awesome I am. To the power of a dragon's elixir field. He's really evil, I guess. So, he shot the spear into a regular old zombie. And that's going to turn it into a super monster? Is that what's happening here? Perhaps then, the old 
ultimate elixir before. Perhaps I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Alright, I am starting with a boss, having not played any normal enemies recently. That's probably dumb. But... Sure that uh that worked the way I wanted it to. Wait, I'm using martial arts a lot more. Maybe that's helping, maybe it's not. track of what I was doing there for a second. Missed a martial art attack, that's probably not wise. Kind of are, Jang Fei, what the hell, man? Oh, fuck. Oh, he's not healing himself at all. I got myself in a position where I can't see what's happening with it. Uh, there you go, his little blasties. Now I just gotta climb up here and get him. So far, no uh, healing use. So that's an improvement, I guess. Uh, unless I start dropping like that. I was trying to do um, an evasion technique from... Uh, Ghost of Tsushima there to avoid taking falling damage. What? Come on! Oh no. Did, did I just like fail to do the damage? Not even here? What the hell? I thought he was like automatically part of this. What on earth am I doing? 
I don't know, man. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, thanks. He's just shooting green shit everywhere. I need him to shoot his red stuff. But not apparently that one. That I didn't successfully block at all. I don't feel like I'm doing any better than I was doing the last time I played though. I need to get him to do his... Special fireball nonsense. I guess he's in a different form now and I'm just... Oh, you're down, down. No, you're not. You're not quite down. You're close. Okay. What on earth am I doing? Good question again. I owe you one. Thanks. Did you get stunned again, damn it. <laughs> I hope you might. Spoiled again. Sorry about that. You won't regret helping me. Won't I? Now that meter up there is just for this form. He gets a whole new life here, right? Because if he's not, I'm doing great. <laughs> What the hell hit me there? Whatever. Okay, so he looks like he's dead. But you actually have to sort of... Do I still have to hit him again? I guess I gotta hit him again to get the next phase going. Okay, that didn't count. It's not actually beaten, and we gotta be careful. Because what I want, I think, is to get him to do that one fancy ass charge. Okay. Come on! Bring it on! They're not half bad. 
I don't think any of these other attacks help us at all. I think I have to counter this big charge. Which I just apparently failed to do. What on earth am I doing? I don't know, man. What are you doing? kind of it for me. I really need him to do his charge. And I really need to counter it properly. much as I was hoping it would do. Okay, just block. Yeah, one thing I did find out is that you can just block his regular old falling attack. Be stunned, please. I mean, I didn't just win, did I? Is there more to it? No, I won. Okay, yeah, I was kind of confused. Like, did I win or not? I, I guess I won. I did, the secret was to get Zhang Fei to back me up and to ignore Liu Bei, even though I was supposed to have him as an ally, too. I may have spent too much time in my failed attempts reviving allies, but the real thing is, yeah, you get to that third form, the only thing that does any good against him at all is deflecting that one charge. Thank so, like, making him use it is important. Lord Yuan Shao is sure to be pleased as well. Also, my snake spirit creature is a little weird for a girl. It represents my hidden penis. Yeah, I'm getting at it. Oh, are we absorbing her snake power? We're learning more about her here, I guess. The night will burn bright when a hero steps forward to quell the world's chaos. A hero cosplaying as Tzu so. whose only strength is in contemplating the charts of the sky. All that I can do is was that a thing offer you, you my interpretations of the stars, bestowing you some insight of what will come. Place me by your side. Well, I'm not being allowed to pause right now. I am sure you do not stray from the path the stars have illuminated for you. Oh, I pray that the stars will offer you their clear guidance in this dark time. I'm Miss Cleo. I don't know if I, if I explained this uh, in an earlier video or not. Lady Zhen, who is like the f fairly early on shows up in the Dynasty Warriors games is like a kind of fun femme fatale character. Yeah, it's not letting me pause right now. Thanks to you, the capital is safe. Now, let us get back to the others. The other what? Oh, the other peoples. What are you doing here anyway? <laughs> get away from that hussy! The coalition has split right in half. It has become meaningless. Mm -hmm. In the end, people will prioritize their own desires what do you desire friendship you and the like are not to be trusted in yeah <gasps> a star is falling on his head <gasps> i just noticed that there's a star that means that you have like destiny and shit hmm. hey what up guys i thought i'd drop in what now that the fighting's over sight. master master now it's the south a veil of demonic chi has descended upon Xiangyang. The south? Den Zunigen Zuden? 
But the elixir remains a pressing concern. Also, my hat has gotten silly. Hong Jing and I will take care of Dong Zhou. Okay. Leaving you to head to Xiang Yang if you're willing. Sure, whatever. As long as I don't have to fight Dong Zhou, that guy seems like he might be hard. This means, of course, that there's no way. Oh, we've obtained Teng Shi's jade through swearing an oath. I don't know who Teng Shi is, but um, we got their jade. But yeah, there's no way we have to fight Dong Zhuo because they just told us they're taking care of that for us. So there won't be a Dong Zhuo boss fight. I'm, I'm sure of that now. Uh, but you know, Lady Zhen, uh, Zhen Ji, as she's known in the Dynasty Warriors games, she uh, she's a beautiful, you know, woman who, uh, who is married to one of Yuan Shao's sons. And then when Cao Cao's forces eventually take Yuan Shao out, um, Cao Pi is kind of like just wandering around, checking out the castle that Yuan Shao used to rule from. And he sees this beautiful woman because like the Yuan sons have fled. But he sees this beautiful woman and he's going to kill her for no reason. And then notices she's beautiful and decides to marry her instead. Um, she becomes... Empress, when he, uh, after Cao Cao's death, uh, when he, uh, seizes the, uh, imperial throne of, uh, you know, makes the Han Emperor, uh, step down, become Prince of Chen Li, Chen Liu or whatever, and Cao Pi ascends to become the first Emperor of Wei. And they have that whole Chinese thing where, you know, he's the first, he's the Emperor of Wei, but he posthumously names his father the first Emperor of Wei. Which is, you know, people debate whether... I guess I don't get to talk about that now. Oh. I guess Da Xiao is a separate character then. I thought the lady we were fighting with was Da Xiao, but... I guess here's Da Xiao for real. General Soon is heading into the capital. What is the meaning of this? Perhaps something has happened. I did see father. He doesn't have a purpley beard. What the hell? That's not Sun Xuan. Uh, I got rid of Sun Xuan's purpley beard and take Kawaii games a while ago. You must hurry after him. <clears throat> and he doesn't feel like Sun Xuan is not fighting with like Tan for the some reason. Pass. Mm -hmm. I've heard tales of you. I heard that you don't talk. I am Sun Xuan, the younger son of Sun Jian. Hey, Xuan. Listen. Something troubling is afoot. I'm glad we're spending time with the Sun family because they're going to have lots of dramatic deaths soon. This is an ill omen. Soon. Get My it? father have come to harm. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk nonsense. Stop talking rubbish. A tiger is not so simply hunted. There's no way he'll My die, or I'll tragically father. die shortly after that. It's just not going to happen. Xiao Yu, I don't know when you're going to show up. We're certainly not... You're not going to die uh, young either. Oh, cool. I can get Sun Xuan to assist me. Huzzah. Mostly, as far as battles go, Sun Xuan is most known for having put on golden armor and then pissed himself and run during the one battle he personally attended. But, uh, you know, obviously that's not how they played out in the Kowai games. He has to be like a warrior dude. To the credit of Cao Cao, like, if the three great uh, leaders of the three kingdoms... For all intents and purposes, it's... Sun Xuan is much younger than Cao Cao or Liu Bei, but they're kind of... I don't of know the... what on earth he was thinking, but Dad's gone into enemy territory alone. Yep. We need to get after him right now. No time for talk. Sorry, buddy. I'm running this Let's Play, not you. <laughs> no, but Sun... Like, so, yeah, the three kingdoms really refer to Wei, Wu, and Shu, with the great, he the great leader of Wei being Cao Cao, the great leader of Shu being Liu Bei. The Great Leader of Wu is a little bit harder to pin down because Wu doesn't technically come until exi into existence until after both Sun Jin and Sun Tzu are dead. And Sun Xuan or Quan or whatever his name, his, the how to pronounce his name seems to change with every game. But Sun Xuan is the guy who was the ruler of Wu during its high watermark. But like the Yu Bei actually went out and fought in battles. Uh, Cao Cao actually went out and fought in battles. Cao Cao in particular was like an officer riding on a horse, generally kept out of personal danger, but he was still on the battlefield, so was Liu Bei. Sun Quan only went to battle one time, uh, and yeah, he, he, had a, he had a suit of golden armor made so that he'd look extra impressive. And 
but he, you know, the, like when the enemy actually burst through the front lines and came after him, he just went Ugh! and ran. So not really like super awesome combat hero guy. But I had been talking about uh, Lady Zhen. Yeah, Lady Zhen is just, she's, I don't know what, where all this is coming from with her like reading the stars and telling fortunes. In the Dynasty Warriors game, she's one of my favorites because she's just this really, she's this beautiful woman, but she's also just really haughty and looks down on the peasants and... It's just kind of a, a lot of fun in Dynasty Warriors 5, and um, then, uh, like, she has a move where she super kicks people. She also has a move where she waves a fan in front of her face, and it does repeated hits as a combo. But, uh, no, in the actual novel, like, she only shows up twice. She shows up, it's mentioned that she marries Cao Pi after he uh, finds her and is going to kill her, and then it's like, no, wait, you're pretty. I won't kill you. I will marry you instead. And it said that Cao Cao approved and thought she was a great wife for his son. Uh, and, which is why I guess Dynasty Warriors 8? Only if you're playing around in like the, uh... There's like, there's this mode that's outside of the story mode where it throws in little extra character stuff for people. Uh, yeah, apparently Cao Cao has, the, has a thing for Lady Jen, and Lady Jen thinks it's creepy because it's her father-in-law. And that, that's just something Kawhi made up for themselves, I guess, and it only shows up in Dynasty Warriors 8. But no, the other, the, after she shows up, just, it's mentioned she married Cao Pi. Later, when introducing Cao Pi's son, Cao Rui, to the narrative, as is often the case, like, you'll find out about wives and mothers when they introduce a male character to the narrative for the first time, because you'll get a, you'll get, like, a block of background on a new male character just dropped on you, and then the male character will go on and carry on to the story. So Cao Pi is married to, to Lady Zhen, but eventually he sort of gets more interested in a younger, more beautiful consort. Or I don't know if she's more beautiful. He has a couple of younger consort whose, na whose name, I swear, is Beauty Wang. <laughs> uh, so Beauty, like, Lady Zhen is just kind of like, she's the empress. So she's like, I guess, politically important and shit. But Cao Pi's not really showing her a lot of favor. And she's kind of disgruntled about it. So Beauty Wang starts spreading rumors, uh, like gossiping about how Lady Zhen is complaining in the court that Cao Pi doesn't pay her enough attention. So Cao Pi sends her a letter in which he gives her permission to kill herself, which she does. Uh, and the only reason this is all brought up is because later Cao Pi is taking his son Cao Rui out to hunt. And uh, Cao Pi shoots, like they find a mother deer and a fawn and Cao Pi shoots the mother deer, and then it's like, My son, now kill the fawn. And Cao Rui says, How can I do that? That poor fawn, his mother has just been struck down. How can I add to its sorrows? And, and according to the book, Cao Pi then realizes that Cao Rui was a deeply emotional and moral soul. Because he doesn't like the idea of murdering children's mothers. <laughs> because his own mother was basically murdered by his father. So it's kind of fun because Genji's a really fun character in Dynasty Warriors. I didn't find all this out until after I'd become a fan. In Dynasty Warriors 5 in particular, they introduce uh, Genji and Cao Pi as this like power couple of uh, incredibly arrogant people. <laughs> and um, and people have like, you know, said, oh, it's a really fun couple in Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, they, they have a terrible outcome in the end. And... Um, this game has brought us Lady Zhen as some kind of weird soothsayer who can read the stars. And I think where the story is going is she can tell the Yuans are about to fall because she sees a Tsar over Yuan Chao's head. And I guess now that she's Miss Cleo can read the stars, she'll be involved with that. Oh, because spoilers, there's a couple of characters who are playing a big role who are probably not going to be around uh, by the time the sequel to this game rolls out. I wouldn't get too attached to Yuan Shao or Sun Jin or Sun Se if I were you. Probably safe to be a fan of Cao Cao or Liu Bei. They're going to be around for a long ass time. Wouldn't really uh, go like, yeah, I'm Team Yuan all the way. They're the guys who I think are going to win <laughs> this whole Wo Long Fallen Dynasty thing. It's kind of like saying, you know who my money's on? Dong Zhuo. I think he's going to be the one who wins in the end. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I'm ha fairly happy with how that went. I got a chance to prattle on at length about uh, history crap. Really, not real history so much as the novel. And we actually beat that boss who... 
I didn't, I wasn't anticipating like eight videos of Lubu failure nonsense because, you know, we got fairly far even on our first showdown, but I was kind of not sure what was going to cause the breakthrough where I, I won because there's certainly no new strategy other than I threw martial arts around, but I don't think they helped that much. I think I just got better at avoiding attacks. We'll see where the next video takes us, but uh, hopefully it will take us to a lot of exploring and not necessarily to fighting giant demon bosses. Thanks for watching.